Back to the front page of the Daily Nation, uh, the top strip there, um, Deputy President William Ruto essentially telling President Uhuru Kenyatta, I made you president. And of course, this uh, stemmed from a leaked audio recording from a rally um, where the Deputy President said he literally pushed the president to continue on with their campaigns in 2017 in the repeat elections. When it comes down to it, Edwin, you know, what is the biggest bone of contention between the two now? Because you're looking at a split presidency as they're coming to the end of their second um, administration. Uh, is it the succession politics? Is it the performance of the Jubilee government so far? Or this alleged betrayal between both camps? What do you read into this? I think one, uh, you've, you've put it in quite a, a nice manner because what, what it is actually, <laughs> what it is actually is that uh, uh, there is a deputy president who threatened physical violence against his boss. Uh, it is something that is quite shameful. Uh, we do know that uh, uh, William Ruto expected that the president would uh, back him in 27, uh, from 2022 for the election. And uh, we believe that all the anger that we see the DP spewing against his boss is just because uh, somewhere along the line, and they will tell us one day because, you know, we were not there. Somewhere along the line, uh, the president uh, made the decision that probably uh, there is a serious character flaw. We don't know what, what it was, but he felt that he, the deputy, his deputy was not the right person uh, to be able to uh, inherit him. Uh, there are very, very serious questions to be raised about some of the arguments that are being made about uh, uh, who made who president. I mean... Uh, it is arguable in uh, 2013 that, in fact, the only ticket that uh, could have secured the victory that they did was with the President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta at the head. Mm. Uh, any other combination, and there were other, you know, discussions. Uh, I, I know that Caleb will, will recall there was a discussion to have uh, Musalia Mudavadi at the head of a ticket. Uh, the only way that, uh, uh, you know, Central Kenya was going to vote in the way, in the manner that they did in yeah. 2013 was because of uh, Uhuru Kenyatta being at the top of a ticket. Uh, it is speculation, of course, but everybody can tell that probably would have had a different result if, uh, say, you had uh, uh, William Ruto at the top of a ticket and uh, Uhuru Kenyatta there, or if they had Musalia and Ruto, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, the proof of the, uh, the, the pudding is in the eating. We want to see uh, this person who claims to have made presidents make himself president now in, in 2022. And why the bitterness if really, uh, you know, the, 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 the vitriol that has been directed at the president is quite unfortunate. They have painted a picture of uh, a lazy person, unwilling, uh, you know, uh, somebody who was being just forced to do the job that he was not interested in. And, uh, you know, this vitriol coming from your opponents is one thing, but for it to come from your own deputy, somebody who was sworn uh, to be your helper, essentially, uh, you know, is, is quite unfortunate. So we wish that uh, uh, certain jokes not be made about the, 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 the standing and the stature of the person of the president, but it is their choice, it is their style. This is what they have decided that is going to be the issues of the elections. I wish uh, we would sit here with my sister Jane and discuss uh, the an Agano Manifesto. What are the ideas? Instead of, <laughs> instead of headlines like this, battles of IT gurus, let us see battle of ideas. I mean, we are, we are, we are down to almost just under four weeks yeah. of the election. 34 days. Yeah, we should be, we should be discussing. Uh, let let uh, Jane here. Yeah. Tell us about the Agano Manifesto and we see and we compare yeah. what is the best yeah. possible uh, solution for Kenya's problems. And, and that is what we should be talking about.